I'm Ali'i Carvalho. You might know me from the film Moana, where I journeyed across the sea to save my village and family. In the movie, the people of my island were counting on me, a young girl to make a difference. Now our communities are counting on each and every one of us, young and old, to make a difference by taking the census. Everyone counts on the census, even the tiniest of babies. The money communities receive for schools and hospitals and fire departments and so many of the services families need are based on how many people are counted in each community. When you fill out the census, you're saying we are here and we count. Today, I'm excited to talk to grown-ups about counting in the census and to ask kids to count along with me as we read the We Count book together. Let's go. Who counts in America? Every 10 years, we answer that question by counting each and every person who lives in this country. It's called the census, and it's going on right now. In the last census, many families forgot to count their babies and young children. Let's read this book together so we can all learn to count together. Because young and old, we all count. Hello, I am Miss Faith. I am one where I live. Young and old, we all count. How many people live with you? On the census, we count each and every person, young and old, in the household where they lived on April 1st, 2020. What's a household? To the census, a household is all the people that live at the same address. In this book, you will meet some of my friends. They live in all different kinds of households. Will you help my friends count their family and count their household for the census? Hello. My name is Katya. We are one, two where I live. Young and old, we all count. I live with my mother most of the time, but when mommy works late, I stay overnight with grandma or with Aunt Tati. Who should count me on their census form? My mom counted me on her census because I stay most nights with her. Kids are counted where they sleep most of the time. But if you're not sure where to count a kid, then put them on the census where they slept on April 1st. Now I have some questions for you. This is my favorite dress. I like the pockets. What color is my dress? What colors are you wearing today? Hi there. My name is James. Right now there are three people where I live. One, two, three. We all count. Guess what? My mom just had a new baby and I'm a big brother. So there are four people in my family, but the baby is still in the hospital. So who should be counted on our census? My mom said this was a tricky question. All babies born before April 1st are counted with their families, even if they are still in the hospital. Even though there are three people where I live, we count my brother on our form. So we are one, two, three, four. The census is done every 10 years. My mom said it is important to count me and my brother in the census, so our school is ready for us for the next 10 years. Here's a question for you. What do you think would be a good name for my baby brother? <laughs> Hello. My name is Sophia. I live with my big brother Kadir and my mom and dad. There are one, two, three, four where I live. Young and old, we all count. So who should be counted on our census form? All of us. My brother said I am too little to count, but he's wrong. I am not too small to learn or to visit the doctor or be a ballerina, no matter how big or small. When kids are counted on the census, communities can plan to make sure there are enough supermarkets, hospitals, and even ballet classes for all of us. Here's a challenge for you. Can you see the green bead? The orange bead? The purple bead? Hi! My name is Frankie. I live with my brother Tomas, my sister Nina, and my grandparents. There are one, two, three, four, five where I live. Young and old, we all count. But shh, our building is only for older people like my grandparents. No children allowed. So we just pretend we are visiting if someone asks. 
who do you think should be counted on our census? All of us. We don't have to worry that we'll be in trouble for telling the truth on the census. The answers are private. My grandparents' answers won't be shared with anyone. Census answers are only used to answer the big questions, like how many people live in this city? How old are they? What services do they need? Maybe if we tell the census that little kids like us have to live with our grandparents in senior-only housing, then they can change the rules or build more places where we can live without worrying. Here's a question. Who do you think is older, me or my brother? How did you guess? Hola, my name is Maria and this is Pio, my hamster. There are one, two, three, four, five, six people in my family. Young and old, we all count. I live with my mom and dad, my brothers Juan and Carlos, and my foster sister Rosa. But my brothers don't live at home anymore. Juan lives with my aunt in Puerto Rico, and Carlos is in the army. So who should be counted? My mama said she needed help to do our form. Here's what I learned. Kids in foster care like Rosa are counted where they live. We put her on our census. My aunt in Puerto Rico counts my brother Juan on her form, and the army counts Carlos. Anyone who lived someplace else on April 1st, like at college or in prison or at a nursing facility, will be counted there. Even if they are home now in quarantine, they are counted where they were on April 1st. That means there are one, two, three, four. Rosa, me, my mom and dad on our census form. Can you guess my favorite color? Here's a clue. The hot peppers are that color and so is the number one bead. Hmm, what else is that color on this page? Salam Alaikum. My name is Sami, and that is how my family says hello. I live with my parents, my sister Aisha, and my grandma. Lots of relatives stay at my house when they first come to live in the United States. Uncle Omar is living with us right now. So is cousin Joe. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven where I live. Young and old, we all count. Who should be counted on our census form? Everyone living at my house, all seven of us. Even Uncle Omar, who is sleeping on the couch until he finds a new place to live. I am six years old. Can you find the number six bead? What color is that? Hello, my name is Frida and here's my dog, Sholo. I live with my mama, papa, parents, brother, grandma, Aunt Elena, and two cousins. We move lots so my parents and Aunt Elena can find work. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight where I live. Young and old, we all count. Who should be counted on our census? We are all counted together where we lived on April 1st, 2020. My family moves from farm to farm. Because we move so much, we didn't get a form in the mail. My Aunt Elena says it is very important to say it loud and proud. We are here and we count. So my mama and papa called the census people and we did the whole thing on the phone. I am proud to be their daughter and I am always very loud. Can you find me and my mama in this picture? Here's a hint. She is wearing a shirt that is the same color as bead number four and of my sneakers. Let's say it together really loud. Red, R E D is red. Hi, my name is Shanti. We just came to the US, me, my mother, my father, and my dog, Usha. Usha and I are learning to speak English. Another family from our village moved here many years ago. That family is large. Lucky for us, they turned their garage into a special private apartment that is very cozy for us. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine where I live. Young and old, we all count. Who should be counted in the census? Even though we do not live together, 
we all have the same address. So my family is counted with our friend's family. My papa reminded his friends to include us on the form. He said it is very important to be sure we're counted in America. There are nine people on our census form. Can you count to nine on your fingers with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we count Usha too, then we have 10. Hello, my name is Patience. I live with my mom, aunt, and cousin in apartment 5G. We sleep in one bedroom and share the apartment with others. Some are friendly and others are quiet, but the landlord always worries too many people live in our apartment. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten where I live. Young and old, we all count. Who should be counted in apartment 5G? Every person, all of us living in 5G, should be counted together on the same census form. The landlord doesn't need to worry. No one will tell housing or immigration or anyone else the information they learn from the census. The census helps builders and planners know we need more apartments and more supermarkets and other stuff in my town. My mom said that being counted where we live shows we need more places to live. So we won't be so crowded. There are 10 beautiful beads on this page. Can you name all the colors? Let's say it together. Orange, purple, green, red, light blue, yellow, pink, dark blue, light green, and brown. Hi, it's me, Miss Faith again. Did you like meeting my friends Katya and James, Sophia and Frankie, Maria and Sami, Frida and Shanti and Patience? Each of them counted their household. Did they help you count your household too? Just remember, young and old, we all count. The end. That was fun. Thanks for counting with me. If you haven't taken the census yet, why not do it right now? Here's the link to the website and it'll only take 10 minutes. Mahalo and keep on counting.